Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Glad to spend my, what, Saturday evening with you all. But I think this is going to be my last video for tonight. Um, we're going to be taking it from the Inquirer magazine. Yes, I was shopping, picked up a, a news magazine from the Inquirer, and I thought I would just see what it's talking about, what's going on. And it has so many interesting stories uh, to report on. This is what I'm going to be doing right now. We're going to be going across the globe. We're going to go over into Europe, all right, and see what's going on with the Duke of Sussex. Okay, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And if we don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about none other than Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Okay, Prince Harry, y'all. Yes, Queen Elizabeth. What's all going over there? All right. Y'all see the headlines, y'all see the magazine cover that I'm reading out of in case you want to go get your copy and do the darn thing with me, okay? But it's just all over. Uh, I'm sure it was in social media as well, on our phones, on YouTube, somewhere. Um, but I just happened to pick up the paper myself or the magazine article myself. And it's giving very, very salacious story on the couple. Okay, says Diva Duchess storms out and takes her Archie at the big brawl. Yes, Archie is the baby they had together. The first baby. It was the fight to end all fights. Oop, they call her a henpeck husband. A henpeck husband. He's willing to do anything to make her happy. Okay, well, didn't they tell y'all the old attitude is happy life, happy wife. Or happy wife, happy life, okay? God always try to keep us happy. We're going to be nagging, 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 and be unbearable to live with. Yes. But we're going on into this story. They don't say who wrote it. So we're going to just say a National Enquirer staff member. All right. A heading reads, Palace Insiders Spill the Beans on New Royal Crisis. Megan tells Harry, it's me or your family. Yeah, you know you can't be dropping automatums like that with the royal family. Girl, you're going to lose every time. You're going to lose every time. Do, do you remember, Diana? Princess of Wales, do you remember what happened with that? Okay. But she didn't even want to be with them. You know, she just wanted a clean-cut divorce, you know? Am amicable. But they, they, oh, they were hearing that back then, okay? So that y'all ain't trying to hear none of that noise now. And Megan, you should have been a little bit more careful and did your research before you start trying to mess with Harry. <laughs> you know he come from big people doing big things, girl. And you can't act like normal everyday people. No, you can't hang out in Hollywood like you're used to doing. No, that's beyond them. Okay, and very beneath them. So you got to toe the line, girl. You got to toe the line. Or you going to be out. And Harry and that baby still going to be at the palace, okay? And you going to be trying to figure out when can you come see your child. So, but anyway, let's go on into the article and see what they give us, all right? It says, the serenity of Prince Harry and Meghan's country love nest Frogmore cottage was blown to smithereens. When the couple's simmering tensions exploded in a savage scream fest, royal sources have told the National Enquirer in an explosive world exclusive. Okay, within an hour of the vicious war of words, the furious Duchess of Sussex stormed out and took Baby Archer with her. Yes, they did. And in the um, far left corner, they have, you know, pictures of Prince Harry, William, um, uh, um, well, William's brother, well, I'm sorry, uh, Harry's brother, William, and, uh, Kate, and it's, you know, saying, uh, Megan's antics has broken up Harry and William and sparked a feud with Kate, insider said, like, come on, you might be some tension against the brothers, but, you know, brothers gonna hopefully mend their fences, mend their 
differences and get back to being brothers. But honey, when you're a wife sometime, it, it just is what it is. They're going to stick to the first family first. <laughs> you either total line, get back in line, or, you know, have some other avenue. And they're not big on divorce. They don't let nobody go. When you get with them, you can't go nowhere. Mm -mm. You down for life, okay? Because they got secrets. But anyway, moving on. It says, Tim Peck hubby would do anything to make her happy. Sources dish. It was the fight to end all fights because Megan's refusal to obey royal rules, not comply. They saying obey royal rules. A high level palace courtier told the Inquirer. Harry's been pushed hard by the palace to make his wife understand she's no longer a Hollywood star. Okay, they've taken that away from her. She took it from herself when she said, I do. All right. But a member of the royal family with important responsibilities. So he took Megan aside and explained to his babe, okay, you just can't do what you want when you want. You're making everyone, including the queen, look like fools, okay? It gives a very cute picture of the queen looking kind of distraught herself. All right, it started to list all of Megan's, well, he started to list all of Megan's recent blunders and she went berserk. She yelled she wasn't going to become another dotty duchess like her sister-in-law, Kate, who is wed to Harris, big brother William. She screamed he married her because of her celebrity and her celebrity friends. Megan said Harry loves being in that world, and she refused to give it up. Then the duchess bolted from the room in tears. Within minutes, she rushed out of their newly renovated home with Archie in her arms and drove away. Okay. The super secretive Duchess, whose obsession with privacy has sparked major conflicts, snuck into an exclusive London hideaway hotel, revealed another royal source. Harry was frantic, revealed the insider. Megan took off without her security detail, meaning her entourage, or the palace entourage, I should say. He had no idea where she was. After a few hours, she finally called, but it wasn't to apologize. She gave him a shocking ultimatum. Get your family off my back or we're through. The former suit star, 38, has faced major backlash since she wed 34-year-old Harry in 2018 and gave birth to Archie in May. In recent weeks alone, she caused chaos at the Wimbledon by demanding everyone around her be moved out of her face, dish the insider. She's broken up Harry and William and sparked a feud with Kate. Now, I can't say she broke up Harry and William. That's too, that's such a far stretch. They probably had differences of opinion of their women, but it just is what it is, okay? Uh, going back to the article. She blatantly boycotted President Donald Trump's official state visit and was snubbed by Her Majesty, who cited poor commitments for not attending Archie's christening. All right. Then she thumbed her nose at the royals to guest edit the women trailblazers issue of British Vogue and didn't include the queen. And she secretly masterminded a commercial clothing venture with two of Britain's high street stores a royal no no <laughs> yeah the royal family don't like to do no kind of interviews unless they got the head scoop of the story and they putting out that narrative okay that's how they get down you don't run them they run you <laughs> okay harry's family fears megan is a loose cannon who considers herself an a-lister during the royals a favor being in their world. Okay, now Megan, I got it twisted. They were royal from the beginning of time almost, okay? So she don't know. She messing with a strong bloodline. I believe uh, Megan best come back into full circle or just plan to leave, but she going to leave that baby there, okay? That's a given right there, okay? But it's going to be very hard for her to get out. Once you sign up with them, it's for life. <laughs> okay? It's for life. But moving on from that, going back to the article, um, it goes and says, Dave told Harry to reign in her. 
me, myself, and I antics, okay? Or get rid of her, okay? She ain't going to woo with the baby. But Harry has no intentions of losing his wife and son. And a court of said the red-headed royal openly wept in frustration and despair when Megan threatened to leave him. He'll do anything to keep them all together, said the source. At the Megan's delivery of her ultimatum, Harry shockingly promised her they'll quit Britain and relocate to America to save their marriage. It'll throw the royals into crisis, but he doesn't care. He knows it's what Megan really wants. <laughs> I'm like, man, did you not understand from the death of your mom when she was trying to do the same thing? And look what happened, honey. The royals don't be getting out like that. You will not make a fool of them, okay? No, nah, you can't make a fool out of the royals. Why they say you want to be in the royal family? You got to be in the royal family. You got to toe the line. You got to dress up in all these little silly hats, go to all these events that are kind of like nonsense to us Americans. But in the or Europe, well, in the Britain world, it's another whole thing. They are about class on top of class on class class, okay? Everything is clear transparent to how they want it to be viewed and it's a must it's a must you can't be going out here all willy-nilly and they, that's what they're saying about um megan she's acting all willy-nilly and they ain't got nothing about race and they ain't got nothing about culture it's about hey if you say you're gonna sign up to be a royal then that's what it is you are signed up on that day and you will be a royal until the day you die and that's just it that's how to get down but megan said she don't want no parts of that she want to have her freedom she don't want to be having an entourage of military men around her, watching her every move. She can't even think in peace, okay? <laughs> she got her little entourage of uh, secret service men watching her thoughts, okay? And they haven't even come in her mind yet. But she said, it's just too much. It's too much. I refuse to live like this. I refuse to be uh, secluded like this. I want to have wild parties. I want to have friends come over. I don't want to have a guest list. Of who I got to uh, give to the royals to see if they permitted on the premises. No, this is the 20th century, 21st century. We got to do better. That's what, that what Megan said. We got to do better. <laughs> but they telling Prince Harry, you better read that woman in, okay? You better, you see how old I am? That's what the queen probably said. Do you see? I'm still going to be ruler for another decade or century. Well, it's gonna, I'm going to be young for another century, okay? Y'all call me everything, but I'm mama. I'm going to rule this camp and get Megan under control or get rid of her. <laughs> that's what they said. Y'all know what they said. That's a hot mess, isn't it? But that's the British royal world. It's either your cup of tea or not, so don't always go knocking at their door say, I want to be a royal. Because they take things very, extremely, explosively serious all right well y'all tell me y'all thoughts on megan Markle. will she come out with the baby and bring harry on with her or will something else be in her future okay will something else be in miss megan Markle's future all right guys y'all have a good night and i will talk with y'all tomorrow which is sunday on some or another just really depends might get back into my inquiry stories who knows might find another article to talk about. But I tell you that James Brown and this Meghan Markle, they are something else. He's dead and gone, but she's still living and she's still trying to tell stuff. <laughs> she's trying to rearrange how the royal is being seen. And they're like, uh-uh, we don't need your help. <laughs> we do not. We didn't ask for you. We didn't solicit you in any form, shape, fashion, or, or none of that, okay? You came to our doorstep, so you're going to have to sit there and deal with the repercussions of the things that you don't like. Really don't care about what you don't like. It's what we like. <laughs> and she brought they brought I told you that before you came. We gave you a crash course lesson prior to y'all getting engaged. All right. And you, you thought you were gonna come and mess us up? No, baby, that ain't how the train roll. This is not how the train roll. So we'll see what happens with the story. And if anything comes out of it, you know I'll come back and give you an update. But other than that, y'all have a blessed night, and I'll see you later. Bye.